looking at Neptune's orbit, and it's not following Newton's laws. When Neil deGrasse Tyson stepped onto the stage, no one expected him to drop a bombshell that would flip our understanding of Neptune on its head. What followed wasn't just a revelation. It was a cosmic curveball that's now forcing scientists to rethink everything we thought we knew about the eighth planet from our sun. Tyson, the voice of modern astrophysics, wasn't just speaking to the packed auditorium in front of him. He was speaking to the world, with a live stream audience holding their breath as he unveiled data that could change planetary science forever. At the center of this shockwave, Neptune, the icy blue enigma lurking in the cold outer reaches of our solar system. What Tyson revealed suggests that Neptune might not just be misunderstood, it might be something else entirely. Before we dive into this game-changing theory, smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing space revelations. For more than a century, Neptune was comfortably parked in our cosmic textbooks as the frigid, mysterious eighth planet, discovered in 1846, not by telescope, but by mathematics. Its position was deducted from the odd wobbles in Uranus's orbit, a celestial breadcrumb trail that led astronomers to its pale blue glow. We've since known Neptune as a world of brutal winds, massive storms, and a stunning deep blue atmosphere, all captured in fleeting detail by Voyager 2's brief visit in 1989. But even with decades of study, Neptune has kept most of its secrets locked away, until now. Tyson's revelation shattered that icy silence, backed by new data from the James Webb Telescope and cutting-edge Earth-based observatories. What he presented wasn't just strange, it was paradigm-breaking. The heart of Tyson's revelation revolved around recent, high-resolution observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, combined with powerful Earth-based interferometric arrays, tools capable of seeing deeper into planetary systems than ever before. What they found wasn't just a blip or a glitch, there were consistent, measurable anomalies in Neptune's structure. Signals that directly challenge everything we thought we knew about the gas and ice giants. According to Tyson, these new data sets revealed bizarre gravitational fluctuations, erratic electromagnetic pulses, and abnormal heat signatures, all coming from inside Neptune. In simple terms, Neptune is not behaving like the cold, layered sphere we've always imagined. Its inner structure, once thought to be neatly stacked, rocky core, icy metal, gassy shell, may instead be a violent chaotic soup of unpredictable materials and shifting energies. Instead of gradually transitioning layers, sorted by temperature or density, Neptune seems to be carved into chaotic zones, sections of swirling plasma, internal turbulence, and even warm pockets buried beneath its cloud tops. And that warmth? It's not from the sun. Neptune is too far away to absorb enough solar heat. And it's not from gravitational interactions either. None of its moons are massive enough to generate tidal heating. Something inside Neptune is producing more heat than expected, and no current theory can explain it. But what truly turned heads was Tyson's breakdown of Neptune's magnetic field, long known to be tilted and offset in strange ways but now shown to be far more unstable than previously thought. The latest data reveal that Neptune's magnetic field isn't just crooked, it's in motion. Large segments of it appear to drift, dissolve, and then reform in cyclical patterns that don't match any known planetary behavior. That's a serious problem for planetary models. Magnetic fields are generated by internal dynamos, normally a spinning metallic core or a deep ocean of metallic hydrogen but Neptune might be playing by different rules entirely. Tyson explained that its magnetic dynamo may be fueled not by the usual suspects, but by exotic ices deep beneath the surface, undergoing violent chemical reactions under extreme pressure. These ices, transforming into charged, flowing states under immense force, could be generating currents strong enough to sculpt the magnetic field that's constantly shifting and reforming, like a living, breathing force field. It's a radical new way of imagining a planetary engine, one where liquid metal isn't required, and where materials we've only replicated in labs are powering a real planet's core. But Tyson didn't stop there. What he shared next sparked audible gasps from the audience, and sent waves through the entire scientific community. He proposed that Neptune may not just be layered differently, it might actually be partially hollowed, or composed of stratified cavities, complex internal pockets that act like resonant chambers for gravitational and electromagnetic energy. If true, 
This would make Neptune unlike any planet we've ever studied. Instead of a solid or smoothly compressed sphere, it could be a multi-chambered system. A kind of cosmic labyrinth where forces echo, churn and interact in completely unpredictable ways. This theory is still highly speculative, but growing evidence is starting to support it. The thermal anomalies, fluctuating magnetic fields and internal turbulence that hint Neptune is hiding something unusual deep within. Tyson emphasizes that such a structure would radically alter how the planet behaves, not just internally, but in its gravitational influence magnetic output, and even its formation story. And that's the big picture here. If Neptune is this structurally exotic, what does that mean for the rest of the solar system? For decades, scientists believe Neptune formed in a different region and then migrated outward, shaping the Kuiper belt and possibly ejecting a now missing fifth planet in the process. But if Neptune itself is far more chaotic and complex than we realize, then maybe its role in our solar system's early drama was even more significant or more destructive than anyone guessed. As if Neptune's structure wasn't strange enough, Tyson dropped another bombshell. Radio emissions, irregular, pulsing signals coming not from the atmosphere, but from deep within the planet itself. Now, Neptune has always been known to emit radio waves, thanks to its magnetic field interacting with solar wind. But these new emissions, they're different. Their frequencies don't align with typical atmospheric activity. These waves are coming from somewhere deeper, and they're acting in ways scientists can't yet explain. Some researchers now believe there might be signs of quantum level processes unfolding under extreme pressure or entirely unknown natural phenomena, the kind we've never observed in our solar system before. And that's not all. Tyson pointed to mounting evidence that Neptune's atmosphere may be hiding materials that until now only existed in high-pressure lab experiments. We're talking about superionic ices, bizarre forms of matter where water molecules break apart, hydrogen atoms shatter, and what's left behind becomes an electrified, slushy, semi-solid soup. These aren't just weird, they're game-changing. In the crushing depths of Neptune's interior, these superionic materials might flow like slow-moving currents, generating heat, building turbulence, and powering Neptune's extreme magnetism. Tyson described them as potential conveyor belts of chaos, strange matter moving through Neptune's belly, reshaping how we understand planetary interiors. Then Tyson shifted focus to Neptune's legendary winds, howling at over 1,300 miles per hour, the fastest in the solar system. Traditionally, scientists thought these supersonic storms were powered by solar heating and rotation dynamics, but recent research paints a very different picture. It now appears that Neptune's weather might actually be driven from within by internal thermal pulses and hidden phase transitions occurring deep beneath the clouds. Instead of the sun's rays sparking these storms, Neptune could be fueling its own weather a planet with a self-sustaining internal engine that stirs up storms from the inside out. This is a game changer if true. It would mark Neptune as the first known example of a planet whose atmospheric dynamics aren't primarily powered by external solar energy, but by its own chaotic internal heat. The revelation also ripples outward, affecting how we understand similar planets beyond our solar system. Neptune-sized exoplanets, mini-Neptunes, and sub-Neptunes are some of the most common worlds discovered by missions like Kepler and TESS. If our Neptune is this wildly complex and different from prior models, then our assumptions about those distant cousins could be dangerously wrong, impacting how we assess their composition, climate, and even potential habitability. Tyson didn't shy away from pushing boundaries. He floated a provocative, though still highly theoretical, possibility that Neptune might belong to a new class of celestial bodies, somewhere between planets and failed stars. While Neptune lacks the mass for nuclear fusion, its unusual internal heat and dynamic energy flows place it in a mysterious grey area. This challenges the traditional binary categories that have boxed in astronomical objects for centuries. Neptune might be part of a hidden continuum, neither fully planet nor fully star, but something in between. If true, this would force a complete rethink of how we classify and understand celestial bodies across the cosmos. It could rewrite planetary science textbooks and open the door to discovering new kinds of worlds, exotic 
chaotic, and unlike anything we've imagined before. Tyson's description of Neptune as a chaotic system in equilibrium was both poetic and revolutionary. A dynamic body balancing forces in constant flux, driven by eruptions of energy deep inside. Tyson's revelations also highlighted something crucial. Our understanding of the cosmos is only as good as the tools we build to observe it. Without the James Webb Space Telescope and the latest upgrades to Earth-based observatories, these astonishing signals from Neptune would have remained hidden, cloaked beneath its swirling clouds. This breakthrough underscores a simple truth. As our technology sharpens, so too does our vision of the universe. And with sharper vision comes the promise of uncovering more mysterious complex worlds like Neptune. The ripple effects of these findings don't stop at Neptune. If one planet in our solar system can surprise us this profoundly, what wonders await beyond? Neptune, once thought of as the quiet, distant ice giant, has suddenly become one of the most exotic, puzzling bodies we've ever encountered. Tyson's announcement isn't just about a planet, it's a celebration of human curiosity, the evolving power of science, and the thrill of discovering waiting just beyond our reach. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Neptune's mysteries, hit like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. What secrets do you think this blue giant is hiding? We can't wait to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.